Welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed how to make reading on a vernier caliper scale and also the parts of a vernier calipers. We realized that a vernier caliper has a movable jaw and sometimes due to mechanical failure, that instrument can be making some readings even when there is no object which is being measured. So that's what we're going to discuss in this les lesson, what we call the zero error of Avania calipers. And we're going to discuss two errors, that is a positive error and a negative error. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. So by the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define zero errors in relation to Avania calipers and then explain what a positive zero error is, and then finally describe what a negative zero error is in relation to a vernier calipers. So under normal circumstances, when the jaws of a vernier calipers are closed without an object between them, the zero mark of the main scale should coincide with the zero mark of the vernier scale. And in that case, we will say the instrument does not have an error. And here, if you have your main scale zero like that, and you are one at this point, then we have some other subdivisions in between there. Then also the vernier scale zero should be, should coincide exactly at that point with the main scale reading, and then it will have it is 10 subdivisions like that. So this is the main scale, and then this is the vernier scale. And then here, what is important is that the zero mark of the main scale is coinciding with the zero mark of the vernier scale. And here, there is no error in this instrument. However, this is not the case because sometimes you can find you have your vernier caliper scale like this. And then the zero mark of the main scale is here, this is zero we have other subdivisions than one. Then on the vernier scale, zero starts here. Zero, then we have some other divisions. And remember this instrument does not have any object between the jaws. So in this case, there's no coincidence of the zero mark. Here, this instrument has an error. Then it can also result in a way that when you have your instrument like this, the zero mark of the, of the vernier scale is here at this point here. Then the main scale zero is ahead or on the right side of the vernier scale, uh, scale or zero. Like in this case, if you can have your other 10 divisions like that, also on top here, you have some other divisions like that. So in this case also, there's no coincidence. So this in this instrument also, there's an error. But as you can see, this error can happen in two ways. When the zero mark of the main scale is on the left side of the zero mark of the vernier scale, or when the zero mark of the main scale is on the right side of the zero mark of the vernier scale. So those two conditions result to what we call as a zero error. And zero error occurs when the zero marks of the main scale and that of the vernier scale of a vernier calipers do not coincide when the jaws of the calipers are closed without an object between them. And this one can result to two types of errors. One, we have a positive zero error. And then the second one, we have a negative zero error, which we are going to discuss shortly. So the first error is the positive zero error. And the positive zero error occurs when the zero mark of the main scale is to the left side of the zero mark of the vernier scale. And the diagram we have on the screen is a perfect example of a positive zero error. So if you have the zero mark of the vernier scale at that point, the zero mark of the main scale is to the left of the zero mark of this vernier scale. And that's what we call a positive zero error. And what you should be keen about 
is that this instrument is already making some measurements or some readings even when there's no object between the joules. So in this example, in this case, we can even read the instrument here. In this case, if you want to read this instrument, you go straight to where we have the zero mark of the Vanya scale and then to the left, opposite to the left, then you read that value. So in this case, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So the main scale is already reading 0 0.2 centimeter. Then we can read also the Vanya scale where the Vanya scale coincides with the main scale. In this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. On the 8 mark, of this Vanya scale, they are coinciding. So the Vanya scale reading, Vanya scale reading is going to be eight times the accuracy that is 0 0.01, which is going to give us 0 0.08 centimeter. Therefore, the total reading, when there is no object, no object, then it's going to be uh, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.08 which is equals to 0 0.28 centimeter. Now, if you bring an object which you want to measure its reading, and you use this instrument to measure it, and you get your answer as, now this is the object, you have an object, then you measure using this instrument which is already reading 0 0.28, and then you get your answer as 5, 0.28 centimeter then what would be the correct reading of that instrument remember before you introduce this object already the instrument was reading 0 0.28 then now when you measure your object you read the instrument it will be reading 0 0.5.28 then it means the correct the correct reading of the object will be you take the total reading that is 5.28, then you subtract what was the what was already a reading on this instrument that is 0 0.28. Therefore, the correct measurement of the object will be 0, 0, 005. So you will get a 0, 0.5.00 centimeter. So for us to get the correct reading of an instrument which is already reading something before we introduce the object, then we have to identify the error. When we identify the error, in this case it's a positive error, then we measure the object, the total reading that we will make, we subtract the error. So for us to correct a positive zero error, we subtract the error from the total reading obtained when you have used this instrument to make some measurement. Like in this case, if you introduce an object, you measure it to be 5.28, then for you to get the correct measurement, you will take this positive zero error, which is positive 0 0.28, then you subtract it from the answer that you read from the instrument, what you will get is the correct measurement. So for a positive zero error, for a positive zero error, for you to correct it, to correct, you do a subtraction. If you have a positive zero error, you subtract that error from the correct from the total reading, then you will get the correct measurement of the object. So the second error that we have is a negative zero error. A negative zero error occurs when the zero mark of the main scale is to the right of the zero mark of the Vanya scale. Like in this case, as you can see, this is the zero mark of the main scale, and then this is the zero mark. Of the Vanya scale. So in this case, the zero mark of the main scale is to the right of the zero mark of the Vanya scale, and this is different from what we discussed as a positive zero error, where the zero mark of the main scale was to the left of the zero mark of the Vanya scale. So when you are using this instrument to make measurement of an object, then that object must cover this distance before it start registering the real uh, size of that object. Because remember, we said when you are making a reading on these vernier calipers, 
then you read the value which is opposite and to the left of the vanier scale of the zero mark of the vanier scale but in this case there is no uh, any figure or there's no scale of the mean scale opposite to the left so it means for you to start making readings or measurements then it must cover this distance then you will start making your readings so in this case if you have an object an object whose real real length is 4.00 centimeters then you use this instrument which is faulty or which has an error which is negative zero error to make some measurement then in this case as you can see it must cover these two divisions of the vanier scale and two divisions of the vanier scale which it should cover before you start making readings are equals to two divisions times the the the, the accuracy of these vanier calipers which is going to give us 0.02 that is negative zero error it has to cover these centimeters before you start making readings so if you use now this instrument in this negative zero error then if the object is real length is 4.00 centimeters then now the instrument this instrument which is faulty will read 4.00 centimeters minus 0.0 two centimeters so it will read 3.98 centimeters so this is what the instrument will read but now if the instrument will read this one how can we find the real uh, length of this object which we are measuring then it means for us to find the real length and we are using a faulty instrument whose zero error we know then we are going to add we, we, we will read 3.98 centimeter then we will add the error which is the negative zero error 0 0.02 then it will bring us back to the real length of that object which was 4.00 uh, centimeter so in this case for us to correct a negative zero error then we add the zero error which we have to the reading obtained we obtained these readings then we add the negative zero error then we obtain the real reading of the instrument so here if you have a negative zero error this is the error then you add you add to the reading then you will obtain the actual reading of the instrument so let's handle a few examples concerning the errors that we have just discussed the question reads Avania calipers with a zero error of negative 0.02 gave the diameter of a marble as 1.84 centimeter. Use the above information to determine the vanier scale reading for an accurate calipers. So when the calipers does not have an error, that's what they want us to find. What will be the reading when the calipers does not have an error? So in this case, we identify what we have. We have an error, which is a negative 0 0.02 uh, centimeters. In this case, that's an error. Then what else do we have? We have the faulty reading. The faulty reading, the reading with an error. In this case, it's 1.84 centimeter. Then what are we supposed to do? We want to find the reading when the error is corrected when the error is corrected what will be the reading so in this case remember what we said when we have an error error and then action action to the uh, reading so what do we do when we have a negative error we will add the error to the reading then if we have a positive error we will subtract from the reading now in this case do we have a positive error or a negative error we have a negative error like that so what do we do we will take the reading or that is the faulty reading when the instrument has an error in this case we will take 1.84 centimeter then we will add because we have a negative error 
we will add that error to the reading. We will add the negative error to this uh, reading. Then it will be, it will be now uh, 1.84 plus 0 0.02, which is going to give us 681. So the correct reading, correct reading, when the calipers does not have an error, will be 1.86 centimeters. It means this instrument covered a distance of 0 0.02 before the reading started making. That's why it read 1.84 or 1.84. So for, for us to cut up for the distance which it covered, which was not accounted for, then we will add that distance which it covered without being accounted for later. So the second question, the figure below shows a vernier calipers scale state the correct reading of the scale if the instrument has a zero error of positive 0 0.02 centimeter so what we do here we have to remember what we have just discussed when you have an error and then the action what you do when you have a negative error you add that error to the scale then when you have a positive error, then you will subtract that error from the scale. So here, what do we have? We have a positive error. So we will read the scale of this instrument, then we will subtract the error from this instrument. But now, can we read the, the, in, the reading on this instrument? Yes. What do we do? We come to this zero, mark of the vernier calipers, right up, and then the adjacent opposite left, that's what we are going to read. So here it's going to be 5, 5.1, 5.2, 5.3. .5 so the main scale, main scale reading is 5.3 centimeter. And now can we read the vernier scale? The vernier scale in this case, it's going to be one, two. They are coinciding at two. So since they are coinciding at two, then our vernier scale, vernier scale is two times the accuracy that is 0 0.1, which is going to give us 0 0.02 centimeter. So that is the vernier scale reading. So the total reading, total reading of this uh, scale is 5.3 plus the vernier scale reading that is 0 0.02 which is going to give us 5.32 centimeter. So that is the reading of this instrument. But when this instrument is reading like this, already it was reading 0 0.02 before the measurement was being made. So what do we do when we have a positive error? We take the reading of the instrument, that is 5.32 centimeter, then we subtract we subtract, when the error is positive, we subtract the error from the general reading. We subtract 0 0.02 centimeter. That is the error of the instrument. So in this case, we'll have 0, 3, 5. Then now our correct reading of the marble, which was measured using this instrument was 5.30 centimeter because this instrument already was reading 0 0.02 before the measurement was made. So that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss another instrument which we call a micrometer screw gauge.